Four words, big win for America. That's how former President Donald Trump reacted to a Supreme Court ruling today, restoring him to the ballot in Colorado. You cannot take somebody out of a race. The voters can take the person out of the race very quickly, but a court shouldn't be doing that, and the Supreme Court saw that very well. The case came to the high court after the Colorado Supreme Court ruled in December that Trump was ineligible to run because of the role that he played in the January 6th Capitol riot in 2021, even though he has never been charged. But the Supreme Court said the Colorado court had overstepped its authority and struck that ruling down. The majority is saying that, look, you need Congress to act here before you can enforce this provision. That Supreme Court decision applies to all states, including Illinois. Nikki Haley chalked up her first primary win this weekend, a day before voters in more than a dozen states head to the polls on Super Tuesday. It is her last chance to stop Trump for the nomination, and she is armed with new polls, showing she's easily beating President Biden in a general election. But what about Trump? Joy Addison is in Texas, where Haley spent the day campaigning. Uh, Joy, good afternoon. How'd it go? Well, Terrence, today we saw a full house full of supporters here for Nikki Haley in Spring, Texas. Though some political analysts say that her campaign run is over, she holds steadfast that she is still in this race. She reminded her supporters that tomorrow, Super Tuesday, is very important to her run. And she did address one issue that many people in border states like us here in Texas find important, and that is immigration. We need to defund sanctuary cities once and for all. We need to put 25,000 Border Patrol and ICE agents on the ground and let them do their job. We'll go back to the Remain in Mexico policy so that no one steps foot on U.S. soil. And instead of catch and release, we'll go to catch and deport. The Supreme Court sided unanimously with former President Trump in his challenge of the state of Colorado's attempt to kick him off of the 2024 primary ballot. Haley says this decision is important because it demonstrates freedom of the ballot. Haley's argument is she has a better chance of beating Biden in November. The latest Fox News polls show Trump is ahead of President Biden by 49 to 47 percent, and Haley leads by a bigger margin of 50 percent to Biden's 42 percent. Yet one political professor here in Texas says Trump's current lead will be tough for Haley to beat. The presidential race is pretty much settled now. Former President Trump and President Biden are almost certainly going to win almost all the delegates. Sometimes presidential contests went on until May or June, but not in 2024. We're going to settle this in March and pretty much definitively on uh, Tuesday, Super Tuesdays. And with 15, with 15 states holding Republican primaries tomorrow, 850 delegates will be up for grabs. In Spring, Texas, Joy Addison, Fox 32, Chicago. Joy, thank you. Early